all over the place. 53 degrees, winds out of the west southwest at 30 miles per hour gusting at 49 miles per hour right now at the airport. We do have a little bit of sunshine breaking through the cloud cover. We have wind advisories in effect until 7 p.m. Wind southwesterly 20 to 30 miles per hour gusting near 50 at times. The wind advisories are in effect for all of western New York except for Allegheny County. Strongest winds will be over the next couple of hours. After around 3 p.m., those winds will start to diminish a bit. You look at the radar, we had some rain earlier. We're in a lull right now, zooming out, tracking some shower activity, making its way across Ontario. That's along a cold front that's going to move through the area later this afternoon. And behind that frontal system, the air is much, much cooler. 53 in Buffalo, 52 right now in Niagara Falls, mid 40s in Jamestown, 54 in Dunkirk. Like I said, winds are strong. Check it out in Buffalo, the wind gust 49 miles per hour, close to 50. Niagara Falls, wind gust of 41 miles per hour. Dunkirk coming in at 37 miles per hour. Winds are going to stay like this for the next couple of hours after around 2 or 3 o'clock. That's when the winds will start to diminish. So you're looking at winds gusting over 40 miles per hour right now, close to 50 miles per hour. By 4 p.m., they're gusting around 33 miles per hour. And then this evening, gusting around 20 to 25 miles per hour. So still a cool breeze. So if you're out and about this evening, temperatures will be in the 30s and winds will be gusting over 20 miles miles per hour. As we take a look at your super seven day forecast, winds are quite strong across the area today. You're going to find winds gusting 40 to 50 miles per hour. What does that mean? Well, we could see the garbage totes knocked over. Some branches could certainly be broken. Isolated power outages are a possibility as some branches could fall into some power lines, but uh, those garbage cans, those inflatables you have out for the holidays, those will be blown all over the place. You may want to uh, deflate those or bring them in for today. Tomorrow we'll have a few flurries south of Buffalo in the morning with temperatures in the 30s. And then on Saturday we'll have some flurries roll through with temperatures in the upper 30s. We are watching the next system roll through as we head toward the upcoming weekend. So a little bit of snow coming across the area early on Saturday. Sunday we start dry. Then the next system, this will be a potent system making its way across the Great Lakes. That'll bring us some rain late on Sunday. Watch what happens on Monday. The rain is going to mix with and change over to snow. This is late in the day on Monday where we see some lake response south of Buffalo. Models starting to come into a little more agreement that we're going to have strong winds, cold temperatures, and some snow showers for the game on Monday. So Sunday, rain showers arriving late in the day, temperatures in the mid-40s. And then we get to Monday where we're going to have that rain early in the day mixed with and change to snow. So say around 3 o'clock, you're going to go out and start your tailgate. We'll be in the 30s by kickoff near 30 degrees with some snow showers, a cool breeze upper 20s toward the end of the game. So dress warmly as you make your way toward uh, Orchard Park Monday evening. It's going to be a chilly one. Snow total still too hard to pinpoint, but it does look like it's going to